Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. Today I am doing your upcoming weekly tarot. This will be for roughly November 23rd to the 29th. Now as always, if you happen to come before the 23rd or after the 29th, really the only thing that matters is that these readings resonate. And if they do, please trust that it is for you. All right, my Leos, the way I like to do this is I'm going to give these cards a few shuffles, lay out one layer, just to get an idea of the general and dominant energies that are happening for you this week. And then we will go in and clarify each of those, going a little deeper, pulling a few more cards, seeing what is really unfolding here for you this week. All right, let's give these a few shuffles. We'll get started. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way, to anybody out there who does celebrate. All right, three more, and we're going to stop for my Leos. My, <laughs> my Leos. Um, no ownership. Let's stop here. All right, the situation for you, challenging you. Where's your mind at? What are you focused on? Okay, your approach, your environment, and then any external, I mean, external, near future outcome, what is coming towards you, Leo. Okay, wow, I'm so glad to see that. The bottom, we do have the Three of Pentacles. Tough week. I think this is a week where, like, definitely something in the past that was wrong. I think you're thinking about, like, rebalancing this you certainly want to rebalance your life you've been through a heaviness leo and this week the universe and the cards are asking you to take a step back and take a break from it we need some rest and recovery this week r and r that's the situation plain and simple after having been through battle certainly emotional battle um spiritual <laughs> um you're tired you need a break you need to recover you need to recoup your energy here so this is like an invitation from the universe saying take a break you're challenged by the Ten of Swords here. Some painful ending here. Maybe a betrayal, maybe backstabbing, but something that hurt deeply. Your mind's focused on justice. <laughs> Plain and simple, it is focused on getting your justice back into the situation, back into your life. Um, are your approach right now is the Nine of Wands. I love it. You're a fighter. A fighter, Leo. Life is testing you, no doubt, this week. You're tired. We got the wounded warrior, especially when it comes to the situation. You've already been through the ringer. This feels like a final test. Testing your faith, testing your resilience, testing how much you want something, right? But you're standing strong. Tired, but standing strong, persevering. In the environment, we can have a Scorpio here with death. It's not a Scorpio. Certainly something is transforming major. Something has changed entirely from the way it was to what it will now be. Probably unrecognizable. But coming towards you, I love this. We have your own energy with the sun, happiness, illumination, clarity, a bright new day, feeling young, feeling vibrant, happy, excited. Um, I love that energy. So it's really great, like how it's going to wrap this up. Let's start with the situation with this War of Swords. This is an invitation really asking you to take a break, Leo. You've been through a lot. There's more fight that you're going to need to have. This is saying, this is the time, not act. Take a moment, recover. Ooh, ooh, it stops that strength. You're showing up here. All right, we're obviously not taking any of these, but let's see what fell out. But, but I'm a little nosy. We have the sun, the nine of wands, the ace of cups, the four of cups, and the emperor. Yeah, you want your happiness. You want that love because you're not happy with the way things have been. You're trying to conquer something here. Oof, all right. Let's try this again. Let's hope these cards. I wanna, they're trying to talk and I, I'm really trying to keep them here. All right, let's take it. The Hermit is here, the Ace of Wands is at the bottom, Two of Wands is here. All right, you need a break for sure. You need a break, you gotta do some soul searching here. You've been through a lot with the Hermit. If you're not taking a break this week, Leo, it's certainly asking you to take a break. It's asking you to take a break before you change direction here. The Ace of Wands is at the bottom. Yeah, Ace of Wands is at the bottom. You have the Two of Wands here. You're certainly changing direction. You might even be thinking about stepping out of your comfort zone at this point, um, but you're making plans to move in a new place, in a new direction, even place. Um, let me say that. You're starting to see like your options. You're starting to see your opportunities, but I think you'll see it much more clear after taking a break because the Hermit is here. It's here to say your mind has been overwhelmed. You've been overwhelmed spiritually lately by life's challenges, by life's reality. And this week is just like saying, 
Take a break from everybody. Go within. Spend some time alone. Decompress it. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with everything because, you know, that will help all of this progress and keep moving. But this week you're taking a break because you need to spend some time. You need to spend some time healing. You need to spend some time even with yourself. Decompressing all your thoughts. Seeing the lessons. Seeing the connections. That's what this time and space will do. It's a very meditative energy, but it's because you've been through so much. It's because you want to move in a new direction and you need to make some space for it here, Leo. Whew, a bunch of healing. Doing some healing, some recovering. All right. In the challenge position, it is that Ten of Swords. I mean, even if you've never seen the tarot before, you already know right away. It's not a good feeling just looking at it. There's literally Ten Swords in the back. It's feeling like I can't get up from here. I don't know what to do because... Because there's nothing to do. Leo this week, not this week. It's to recover. Do the things that feed your heart. Do the things that feed your soul. Take a break from everybody. Take a break from life. Close your laptop. Close your laptop. Um, all right, tell us about this 10 of swords in the challenge position. It's just something knocked you down and it's basically got you feeling like you can't get back up. Ah. Uh, Tell us about the Ten of Swords and the challenge position. I mean, you already accepted the challenge. You're taking some time to recover, to regain your strength. Um, all right, tell us about this Ten of Swords in the challenge position. All right, two more. All right, we're going to stop here. Clarifying the Ten of Swords. Ten of Cups. Justice again. Wow. <sighs> Somebody you love deeply, there was an ending here. It could be family. There's a really important relationship here, Leo. That ended. There could have been a betrayal. It just, it hurt you so much. And right now with justice being here like the hermit and then justice is on your mind, we're going to have to connect some dots here. Cause and effect. Justice is here. First of all, let me say that things will turn out just and fair. It's here twice. But justice for me is a card of karma, right? It's the things that we set into motion coming back and seeing how they've affected and the ripple effect of our actions in the past. And it's in a challenge position. So I think we need to make connections here of how things led to where they led. And it's so funny that I say that because even when we were talking about the hermit here, I was saying, you know, just being really honest, even taking accountability, our part that we played, even if, even if, even if our part is like, well, I didn't do anything wrong and they just kept misbehaving. And then I'm like, well, you did because you're in action your failure to speak about having healthy boundaries and to put them into place let somebody kind of do that right so that's where our part is played that's where we take our power back you're going to be taking your power back here but it's going to take some rest and recovery and we need to make some connections here with how this ended why it ended it always takes two to tango here right it doesn't even if it, even if again even if you were mistreated because justice is here so i feel like something was really unjust we have to ask ourselves, you know, it's, it's a lesson I've had to learn. My part, especially in the past with like certain relationship has been me trying not to stir the waters, which is a mistake. What do they say? If you keep your mouth shut to keep the peace, you, you begin a war inside. So there's always our parts to play. Otherwise, what are we powerless? You know, it's that kind of energy. So of course we take accountability because it's our way to take our power back. That being said, your mind is on that. It's on justice. It's on making those connections here. And of course you will. Once you get into that hermit and that four of swords energy, your soul will start speaking to you and you'll start seeing things you hadn't seen before, making connections you had not made before, Leo. It's growth, spiritual growth, personal development. I'll take that to clarify justice. Nine of pentacles, king of cups. All right. Whew, I think you're thinking about going solo. I think you're thinking about being alone and dependent here. There's something about your mind being focused on you being alone here and you recalibrating this, bringing balance and restoring order here. Um, we got the King of Cups here. So, you know, this is you just really mastering your emotions, remaining calm, even though things may not be, but just really remaining calm, cool, and collected. You're not ignoring your emotions. You're just remaining calm while it's all happening. Um, it's like centered. You know, that's when I say calm, it's like you're remaining centered. Um, so it's really great energy. You're making the connections here. I love that. 
You're making connections with yourself here with that nine of pentacles. You're really putting your hand over your heart. You have empathy with that king of cups. You know, he's really, really diplomatic. And what makes him a powerful diplomat is that he truly has the ability to put himself in other people's shoes. And I think you're doing that here. Wow. Wow. Total growth, self-development. You're putting yourself in your shoes. You're putting yourself in their shoes. You're really making the connections. It's shutting me up. Everything I've said. <laughs> I love it. All right, your approach here is fighting. You're fighting. You're tired, but you're not giving it up. You're showing up, Leo, and you're putting up the good fight. You're putting up the fight for your soul. You're doing the inner work. I love it. Tell me about the Nine of Wands for my Leos. What's this Nine of Wands about in your approach? Yeah, you're setting up the good fight. Let's take it. Queen of Cups at the bottom. Ooh, two of Cups, Page of Cups. Okay. Man, it's like Leo. It's so tricky when it comes to this partnership. <sighs> you're trying to remain open. You're trying to not lose trust. You're trying to not, to not lose faith. You're certainly trying to not be jaded, to not like let past mistakes get in the way of today or the future. But it's taken a lot from you to stay open to this partnership. It is taking a lot. But you're doing it. You're remaining open. You're persevering. But you are tired and you're really trying to stay open. You're really trying to stay true. You're really trying to meet them halfway. You want a truce here. You want to come back together here. But it's testing you and it's not easy on you. It's not easy on you remaining open to this. It's clear. But it's so important to you that you're still fighting. You're still showing up and putting up the good fight. All right, in your environment, we got death here. Again, if it's not a Scorpio, something certainly has ended here. And it could just be rebirth, it's transformed. But the way that something was here is done. That way it is no longer. All right, tell me about death. In the environment. Let's take it. <clears throat> Six of Pentacles, Four of Wands. <sighs> could be with a Scorpio. We could literally have marriage here with the Four of Wands. But I feel like um, things have been imbalanced with that Six of Pentacles. And because of that, a foundation here is totally changing. There is a foundation that we've had with somebody that's been imbalanced. And due to that, everything has changed. Because it was not equal give and take. It was not equal give and take, so it led to death here. And death of what? This foundation. Death is rebirth, but it, it, it clears the way. It's really uncomfortable. Let me tell you, there's a foundation here that was imbalanced. It was really uncomfortable. And it's over. The way it's been is totally over with death here. The way that was is done. Done, 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 done. Um, all right, coming towards you, we have the sun. The happiest card here in the whole tarot, your own energy. So we got happiness coming here, a bright new day. Maybe once you emerge, once you emerge from resting and recovering, you wake up with like a new sense of understanding, just a new sense of yourself, um, all right, of the situation. Tell me about the sun coming towards Leo. What's the sun about? A few more shuffles. I'll take that. Two, I think, fell out. Let's see. The Tower and the Five of Swords. Damn. It's going to be a massive shift. Some, some kind of truth with the sun is coming out. Some kind of truth is coming out. And it's just going to have you feeling so conflicted. It could be about, you know, this fight that you had with a loved one. But there's something that you're realizing was built on a false foundation. What you thought to be true was not true here. And it's going to leave you very conflicted. Or it's going to shed some light on some big fight you had here. Either or. But re reality, the, the reality is, is that some truth is coming through fast. Fast. It's really quick and it's the kind of thing, you know, just like the tower, it can shake us up. Sometimes it's traumatic. 
but you know, I always think of the tower as divine intervention. It's coming in to clear space for you so that you can put something better in its place, build something stronger in its place. But yeah, some truth is coming out. It's very illuminating. But I don't think you like it at first. I don't think you like it at first with that five of swords, but it is going to lead the way for a bright new day. It's going to make that space for that sun energy to come in, Leo. And I think that's really great. So I will leave it there for you. I hope this reading resonates. And if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. As always, Leo, thank you so much for letting me tune into your energies. See you all next week.